Okay, so here's my code, HTML, head, and where's the end head? That should be down here, there it is. And then I have title, end title, script. Where's my end script? There's the end of my script, my Java, what kind of script? What type of script? JavaScript. And then, let's see, I've got my body and the end of my HTML. Okay, so now I scooch on up towards the top. And right here, underneath title, it says script. What type of script? JavaScript. Within this, I define a function. The name of the function is species. Species will have three parameters, name, Latin, and status. I'm going to take each one of these parameters and assign it to a same name variable that is prefixed with the word this and a dot. Python has something similar to this, self dot. JavaScript is this dot. This is a local variable that is private to this function, this class. All right, so now let's continue. So I take name and I assign it to this dot name. I take Latin and I assign it to this dot Latin. I take status and assign it to this dot status. That's my function called species. All right. What's the next thing I do in my script? Well, I've defined the function. Now I'm going to call the function. I'm going to define a variable called x. I'm going to say x, you're equal to something. Equal to what? To a new instantiation of species. Oh, huh. what does that mean? Well, when I made this function called species, this is what the system did. It made this guy over here. His name is species. And species has a name part, a Latin part, and a status part. There they are, here, here, and here. Those are the three parts. This is a class. It's an empty blueprint. Nothing's inside of this guy. That's what I just did here. I defined this guy. And I defined his three parts, name, Latin, and status. And there they are. They're currently empty. That's about to change. Well, sort of. It's a class. It's an empty blueprint. Good. Now the next thing that happens is I'm going to make a new species. Oh, I'm sorry. What was the name of this guy? His name was species. I'm going to make a new species. All right. Let's move this up a bit so you can see this clearly. I'm going to make a new species and assign that to x. And that's called instantiation. I'm going to create a new species. I'm going to make a new guy. This is my new guy. His name is going to be x. I'm assigning him back to x. His name is x. When I create this new species called x, I'm going to pass him three parameters. Bonobo goes here for name. Panpaniscus will go here, the Latin section, and endangered will go here in the status section. So X, X's name will be Bonobo, X's Latin will be Panpaniscus, and X's status will be endangered. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is the following. After I've created the variable, instantiated them, and 
assign these three values to the new instantiation, which is all referenceable by, by x, now what do I do? Now I got this guy here. What do I do with him? I print them out. That's what. How do I do that? Okay, first thing I do is this. I say uh, x, and he answers yes. And I say, you know that name property you've got? And he says, uh, x is my name property? Oh, yeah, yeah, you mean uh, Bonobo, yeah? Yes, that's right, Mr. Bonobo, would you print him out right here? Would you write him to the document, to the web document, please? X dot name, Bonobo. Write him to the web document, please. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. And then, up uh, the character turn line feed, please. All right, I'll do that. Next, Mr. X says, yes. You know that uh, field you got in there called, that property you got in there called Latin? Yeah, X, X is Latin. Yeah, oh, you mean Pampaniscus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could you write him out here? Could you write him to my web document, please? He says, sure, I'll do that. No problemo. And then could you do a character turn line feed right here? Write that to the document. Okay, I'll do that. And X, yes, you know that status property you have? Oh, yeah, you mean endangered? Yes. Could you write, could you write that? To the web document also. I'd appreciate that. He says, sure, I'll do that. No problem all. And we come to the end of the script. And that's what this thing does. Wow. Okay, let's see this in action. Uh, click on Run. And launch in Chrome. And put a bing. Put a bang. Put a boom. There they are, the parade of hits. Bonovo, Pampaniscus, and Endangered. Huh. X dot name, X dot Latin, and X dot status. Bonovo, Pampaniscus, and Endangered. Wow. That is amazing. Hmm. And that's about all I have to say for now. This is George Bull. Bye-bye.